All right, Shalom Wam. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukai Kodash, Double Anzatai El, the apostles of great meals, so that do it well, and salutations and bless you. I can just push his word with true sincerity and charity. Uh, today, I want to get into a lesson, you know, pretty much uh, uh, speaking on, you know, our focus, man. All right. And the, the times that we in, man. All right. Hey, we, we, we just need to be more uh, focused on the words of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, man. All right. Having our minds on, on, on the words of the Lord, man. All right, because hey, at the end of the day, that's the only thing that's gonna keep us stable. All right, the only thing that's uh, gonna keep us faithful unto Yahweh by Shema Al Shai, man. All right, and, hey man, we gotta keep our eyes on the prize, man. All right, we still uh, looking for the kingdom, man. All right, and the only way to get that, man. All right, is uh, serving Yahweh by Shema Al Shai, man. You know, so hey, you gotta stay focused at all times, man. All right, especially the times that we in, man. Hey, this, hey we 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 at the end of this thing, man. All right, this is not the time to be lukewarm, man. All right, uh, uh, want to sit back and relax, man, with your, uh, with your woman, all right, and your children, man. All right, even though it's nothing wrong with that, man, but hey, that, that shouldn't be your number one focus, man. Your number one focus, uh, should be, uh, uh trying your best to stay focused on the words of your Habba Shemal Shah, man, building yourself up for the times that are to come, man, you know. So, any further ado, let me jump straight into the scriptures. This is Matthew, uh, chapter 6 and verse 19. It says, Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, all right. Where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. All right, man. So hey, you you gotta pretty much forsake everything that's inside this world, man. All right. Anything anything that you that you hold dear to your heart, man. All right. Hey, you you gotta you gotta move it uh, 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 away from your heart. All right. You gotta move it away, man. All right. And put and put the truth uh, where 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 that was at, man. All right. Because hey, man, if you if you have your 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 man, you know, um, um, fully tied to this world, man. All right, hey, you you you're not you're not with your how about Shemal Shah, man? All right, you know, so hey, man, you 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 gotta cut off those things that that you that you truly love inside this world, man. All right, you you don't you don't have to um um you know just just hate them, man. All right, like with your your mother, your father. All right, like you tell you inside that uh, Luke fourteen, man. Hey, that you just have to love those things less, man. All right, and put the and put the truth there, man. All right, because all those things are, are gonna be given back onto you, man. All right, you're gonna have uh um. Uh, more, more women, more wives. All right, more children that that you that then you have inside this kingdom, man. All right, yeah, hey, man. They're they're all gonna be inside of order inside the kingdom of heaven, man. All right, so why so why not uh seek seek that first, man? All right, seek that even more, you know. So it says uh in verse uh twenty, it says, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven. Where neither moth nor rust nor rust doth corrupt, nor I'm saying where thieves do not break through nor steal. All right, man. Because hey, if you if you setting you setting uh, uh your man set on the kingdom of heaven, man. No one can ever take that away, man. All right, because guess what? It's spiritual, man. All right, no one no one can uh take that away, man. Okay, you you can you can have things inside this world, man. All right, but guess what? At the end of the day, all that shit is gonna be burned up, man. All that's gonna be destroyed, man. All right, but if you having your your focus on the kingdom of heaven, man, that's everlasting, man. All right, the kingdom of heaven is gonna is gonna be everlasting. It's never gonna pine away, man. It's never gonna uh um, um be translated to anyone else, man. No, this is gonna be uh Yahweh Shai's kingdom for eternity on eternity on eternity, man. All right, so hey, man, our focus should should be uh, upon the kingdom of heaven, man. That should be your number one focus, man. Not this world, man. All right, because this world is gonna pass away, man. You know. So verse twenty one. For where for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. All right. So, hey man, your treasure is inside of heaven. Guess what? Your man is gonna be inside of heaven, man. You're gonna be thinking heavenly things, man. You're gonna be thinking upon your Shemal Shah. But hey, if your if your man if your heart uh, if, if your treasures are are here on the earth, man. All right. Hey, your your man is gonna be here on the earth. All right. You you're gonna you're gonna serve your flesh. Are right? you gonna serve money? All right. Hey man. Hey, it, it speaks to that. You know, going down. But hey, I'm gonna keep reading. It says. Um, the light of the body is the eye. If thine if thine eye be single, thy whole body shall shall be full of light. All right, man. So hey, if you if, if you're focused on this truth, man, if you focus fully on your Habba Shema Al Shah, man. Hey, you're 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 gonna be uh, um 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 full of light, man. All right, you're gonna be full of, of this knowledge, man. You're gonna be full of this wisdom, man. All right, but hey, if you're not, verse 23, but if thine eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. If not, if therefore the light um that is in d be darkness how great is this darkness all right man so hey man if if if, if, if hey man you 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 just have to be fully focused on this word man all right you can't be uh, um you know going dibbling dabbling back into this world man all right thinking that it's okay man the hot boss doesn't see it man because he does man 
All right, the Lord sees everything that you do. All right, so hey man, you 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 gotta have your eyes single, man, on this on this truth, man. All right, always have your man, always have your man upon the uh, uh, the law statute, law statute, law statutes and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Al Shad, man. All right, and never uh, uh, forsaken him, man. All right, because that's the only thing that's gonna get you saved, man. That's the only thing that's gonna get you your reward, you know. But verse twenty four, no man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other. Or else he will hold the hold the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve Yahweh in man in mammon. All right, man. You you, you can't serve uh, Yahweh Shemal Shah and the things that, that you uh, love inside this world, man. You can't serve Yahweh Shemal Shah and uh, serve money, man. All right. You can't do that, man. You have to have one master, man. That master should be Yahweh Shemal Shah, man. You know, because hey, man, without the Lord, man, you're not gonna be defended. All right. You're not gonna uh, have anything, man. All right. So, hey, man, the, the Lord is, is your everything, man. You know? So, hey, you should be focused on that, man. Be focused on this. Be focused on the kingdom that's to come. Verse 33, it says, But seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. All right, man? So, hey, if you if you seek Yahweh Bashem al man, all right, and uh, seek, seek out the, the way of truth, man, seek out the way of righteousness, man, all right, and perform, and perform uh, righteousness, man, all right, then you, you, you're going to get the kingdom of heaven, man. All right, Yahweh Shem Al Shai is gonna add all, uh, uh, add all those uh, rewards onto you, man. You know, so let me get uh, I'm gonna get this Deuteronomy first. Deuteronomy chapter six and verse four says, "Hear, O Israel, Yahweh our power is is one Lord, and thou shalt love Yahweh thy power with all thine heart and with all thy soul and with all thy might." All right, so Yahweh Shem Al Shai is, is number one, man. All right, the Lord, the Lord is, is our number one priority, man. All right, and His will is our number one priority. Okay, and it says in verse six, uh, and in these words which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart. All right, your mind, man. All right, uh, that that where a heart goes back to law. All right, which means your mind. Okay, so these words are, are supposed to be inside of your mind, man, day in and day out, man. Okay, so it says in verse seven, and thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children. And, and shall talk of them when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. All right, man? Hey, if you do that, man, you, you will never uh, um, uh, think think upon this world, man. All right? Because, hey, uh, um, uh, if you're doing something consistently, man, over and over again, man, all right, eventually it's going to be installed inside of you, man. It's going to be uh, put into your genetic makeup, man. All right? Eventually you're, you're going to become that, man. All right, and that's what that's what we're trying to become. We're trying to become perfect, man. All right, so hey, if you if you're performing perfect acts, man. All right, to the best of your ability, man. Hey, eventually you're you're gonna be perfect, man. All right, because Yahweh Shem Al Shai is gonna come back and make us perfect, man. All right. So uh, verse eight it says, and thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thy hand, uh, and thou sh and, and they shall be as frontlets between thine eyes. All right, man. So hey, this word should be on your man twenty four seven, man. All right, you should always be thinking of, uh thinking about your how about Shemal Shah, man. Always read reading the scripture uh, uh day, man. All right, at least at least one scripture, man. Something, you know, something to put inside of you, man. You know, so let me get this Joshua one and uh verse eight. It says, "This book of the law shall shall not depart shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou uh but thou shalt d meditate therein day and night, and thou." Um, that thou mayest observe to do, to do uh, according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. All right, man. Because hey, if you if you are uh, attending to the words of Yahweh Shemal Shah, man. All right, and always having them on your mind, man. Hey, you're you're gonna have good success, man. All right, you're gonna be prosperous, man. All right, Yahweh Shemal Shah will always uh, uh make make a way for you to get for you to get what you need, man. All right. Hey, here it is that, that we're inside a um, uh, quarantine, man. All right, but hey, the uh, uh, the prophets are good, man. All right, the prophets are eating good, man. The, the prophets have money inside their pockets, man. All right, all of those things, man. Just because of Yahweh Shem Al Shah, man. All right, you have um um uh what's that? These people out here inside this world, man. All right, that's that's uh, uh worshiping Esau Edom, man. All right, and all these other heathens, man. Hey, guess what, man? They're suffering right now, man. All right, a lot of a lot of them don't have jobs, man. All right, their family members turn their backs on them, man. All right, but guess what, man? We have your Habash Shemal Shah, man. We got the brotherhood, man. All right. So, hey, man, this 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 word is 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 completely uh perfect, man. All right. 
Hey, the way Yahweh Shemal Shah set this up, man, was, was, was to uh, uh, keep his prophet safe, man, at all times, man. All right, but hey, if, you, if you're not serving Yahweh Shemal Shah and not being focused, man, all right, the Lord is not going to save you, man. All right? Hey, man, hey, we, we got to be on fire for this thing, man. You know? This is Revelation chapter 3 and verse 11. It says, Behold, I come quickly. Hold fast, uh, hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. All right, man? So hey, we have to hold on to this, hold on to this word, man. All right? Hold it to your chest, man. Hold it with all thy mind, with uh, everything that you got, man. You know? Hey, I, I, I like to liken it onto, uh, uh, you know, a kid getting bu getting uh, bullied, man. All right? He holding on to that, to that, uh, to his lunch money, man. All right, holding to his chest, man, with, with everything he got, man, getting stumped out of everything, man. But guess what? He's still holding on to that, man. All right, and that's the same way we get, same way we gotta be with this truth, man. We gotta still be holding on to the truth, man. No matter how, no matter how uh, bad we getting fucked up, man. All right, no matter what afflictions that we go through, man, we still have to uh, um, uh, serve you. How about Shmuel Shad, man? Hey, we gotta be like Job, man. All right, have that Job mindset, man. All right, no matter what you're going through, man, you're still gonna be focused on the words of Yahweh Shmuel Shad, man. All right. So this is Revelation chapter three, and verse um, fifteen. It says, "I I know thy works that thou art neither cold nor hot. I I would um, I would thou work cold nor uh, or hot. All right, man. So hey, uh, Yahweh uh, Yahweh said, "I know thy works. All right, that thou art uh, neither cold nor hot, man. All right. So hey, man. Hey, Yahweh Shmuel Shah knows sees and knows everything, man." All right, so hey man, you, you you have to be on fire for this word, man. You got to be uh, um, you know, really really doing what you got to do for your how about Shmuel man. All right, to the best of your ability, man. All right, not not giving up, man. When, when when things don't go your way, man. All right, but hey, pushing even harder, man. When things get hard, man, you push harder, man. You know, hey, you 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 got to match that same that same level of intensity, man. All right, hey, if if a, if a guy is fighting you, man, he he's going uh, uh at his one hundred percent best, man. All right, hey, he beating your ass, man. Hey, you you gotta you gotta step it up, man. All right, you gotta step it up, man. All right, and that's the same the same way that, that we gotta be inside this truth, man. All right, hey, if, if if this if this world is uh getting to you, man, you gotta step it up for your Habba Shemal Shah, man. Fast, all right. Uh, pray more, man. Stay inside these words more. Read more. Hey, do whatever you gotta do for your Habba Shemal Shah. Do more videos, man. All right, but hey, you gotta always be on fire for this for this word, man. Because hey, if you're not, verse sixteen. So then, because thou art, art lukewarm, all right, because you're in the middle, man, and neither cold nor hot, I will spill thee out of my mouth, all right, man, because, hey, you, 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 can't, you can't be uh, in this word, all right, and inside this world, man, all right, you can't be uh, serving two masses, man, all right, you can only serve your how about Shemal Shai, all right, and, hey, if, you, if you're not serving the Lord, man, all right, hey, you, you're going to be destroyed, man, okay, you're going to be destroyed, man, to, to, to keep it simple, man, you know, so... Let me get this second Timothy's chapter three and verse one. It says this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. All right, man. So, hey, we're in perilous times, man. All right. So why why, why shouldn't you be focused on the words of Yahweh about Shemel Shah, man? All right. We're, we're in very uh, uh, horrible times, man. All right. It's about to be a lot of death. But, hey, we're, we're, we're in horrible and beautiful times, man. All right. But the only way it's going to be beautiful for you, man. All right. Is that if you're serving Yahweh about Shemel Shah. All right, with the best, with the best of your ability, man. Okay, and always stand focused. Always have your 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 eyes on that prize, man. All right, because having your eyes on that prize, man, you're you're never gonna stop serving the Lord, man. All right, you're gonna always uh look look at that reward, man. All right, know that hey hey man, if if I stop serving the Lord, man, I'm gonna get jacked up, man, and I'm not gonna get what what I've been fighting for, man. You know, so hey man, you gotta always keep on fighting, man. All right, so I'm gonna end it off with this. Because, hey, man, at the end of the day, man, Satan, Satan wants us, man, okay? Satan wants to take us out of the, take us out of the truth, man, all right? But, hey, the only way the only way that's not going to happen is if you keep your eyes on the words of Yahweh Shemel Shah, man, all right? So this is Luke 22 and verse 31. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan have desired to, desire to have you uh, that he may sift you as wheat, all right, man? That's all Satan wants to do, man, all right? Satan wants to uh, take us out of the truth, man. Let me go into this word. You know, I'm going to this. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, let me see. So I get, uh, 
So, hey, man, this, this is the word for sift. All right, I'm going to go to the second definition. It says um, inward, um, inward uh, aggravation to try one's faith uh, to the verge of overthrow. All right, man, that's all Satan wants to do, man. He wants to overthrow your faith, man. All right, he wants to, hey, the same way that, that, that um, uh, um, it, was, it was in the book of Job, man. All right, he wanted to uh, uh, prove to the Lord that Job was going to give up on him, man. All right, but Job never gave up on, on, on Yahweh Bashim al man. All right, and that's how we have to be, man. All right, hey, even, even though Satan, Satan wants to take us out the truth, man. All right, Satan throws things in your face, man, to, to tempt you, man. All right, and hey, man, we're coming to that ultimate hour of temptation, man. All right, so Satan, hey, hey man, we're, we're, we're living in, in very perilous times, man. All right, you have to be focused on, on, on the Yahweh Bashim al at all times, man, because Satan wants you, man. All right, and you best believe that he wants you, man. If you're inside this truth, man, all right, and hey, hey, you're, you're a potential member of the elect, man. All right, Satan, want, Satan wants to uh, overthrow your faith, man. You know, but hey, you, you can't let that happen, man. But hey, at the end of the day, Yahweh Shah is not going to let that happen, man. All right, verse uh, 32 says, but I have prayed for thee. All right, Yahweh Shah has prayed for his elect, man. All right, his elect, hey, it, it, it's impossible for the elect to be uh, thrown, to, to be thrown off their, uh, um, um, their P's and Q's, man. All right, to be thrown completely out of, out of uh, faith, man. It's impossible, man. All right, because they are of the Lord. They are uh, um, the Lord's, man. All right, anything that that's the Lord's, man. Hey, it's the Lord's, man. You can't take that away, man. All right, but hey, man, we don't know who's who's of the elect, man. So guess what, man? You you got to keep on pushing. All right, keep on reading, man. All right, and the elect is gonna do that regardless, man. All right. So hey. At, hey, at the end of the day, man, we just got to keep on uh, being focused, man, and having our eyes on, on our on our prize, man. So with that, I pray that this lesson was edifying. I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Chakurash, that will unzat the apostles of great meals, so that do it well, and salutations and blessings to you, I can that's pushing this word with true sincerity and charity. Shalom and a Baba Ball.